Hey guys, welcome back to Stuff Steve Likes. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. And I uh, just wanted to do a quick review of a new watch that I got. This is the Seiko SRP655. And uh, there's the tag here that came with it. And as you can see, um, it is a 200 meter automatic diver, hard lux crystal, um, screw down case back, Luma bright hands, you know, kind of all the regular stuff. Uh, it's got the 4R36 movement in it. Um, but in here it says case with ceramic. And that's, thing, that's something that uh, is really unique about this watch is it has this ceramic shroud around it. I've seen a lot of the tunas and baby tunas that have the stainless steel but not the ceramic. And what that does is it just makes it more scratch resistant basically. So um, I'm guessing that uh, they uh, for the 50th anniversary and that's what this is, it's a 50th anniversary model, I guess they just wanted to separate it and make it a little bit more unique and that's how they're doing it. Anyway, really cool watch. I uh, picked it up at a pawn shop for like 200 bucks, which is an incredible deal. I see most of them going, uh, it's discontinued, but I see most of them going for in the, you know, maybe 350 to $600 range, depending on where you get it and how you get it and so forth. Um, but they had this watch uh, for several months, and um, so I just kind of called them and said, hey, would you take this? And they said yes. So I got a crazy deal on it, but um, really just an amazing watch. Um, I've got another um, Seiko diver, the Turtle, uh, the Patty Turtle, which is great too. So I was like, well, I like that one um, really well. So I decided to grab this one because it is so different looking. And I think that uh, that's what really separates this from a lot of other dive watches is just the uniqueness of it. And that's one that's that's one thing that Seiko really excels at is making unique watches. And even though both of those watches are 200 meter divers. Uh, they have the same movement, they have the same crystal, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. It's still different enough to uh, to make it worthwhile for me. So, uh, let me bring it up a little bit closer to the camera so you can see the dial. And look at how uh, 3D this dial is. See how the indices are raised? And so you've got these loom pips here, and then they're surrounded by... Uh, this red paint I guess it is and it matches the seconds hand you've got the kind of the enlarged arrow hand for the hour and the sword hand for the minute and see how the the uh, loom markers are actually kind of countersunk into uh, into the chapter ring here the bezel lines up really well on this too and um, let me show you the action here. It's a very good action. Uh, not too stiff, but definitely, you know, you've got to, you've definitely got to move it. Is that last click? There we go. So really nice there. Uh, here's that shroud. I'll kind of spin it around here so you can see that ceramic shroud. And a lot of the really high-end divers now, like the uh, Tudor Pelagos and the Rolex Submariner and all those are going to a ceramic bezel. And the reason for that is it's very scratch resistant. So, and it has kind of this dull look to it, but I think it looks really nice. And I'm sure it's, um, you know, I'm sure it's going to hold up pretty well. All right, here we go. Let's look at the back. So you've got the nice tsunami wave. This is a special edition, not a limited edition, so it's not like they only made 1,200 or anything like that. But it is a special edition, so that makes it kind of cool. You can see, you know, movement, Japan, air diver, 200 meters. And it says ceramics and stainless steel. So that's, that's kind of unique on a, a Seiko. Not a lot of them say ceramics, so kind of a cool deal there. And then... There's your Prospects logo and I guess the serial number. But uh, just look at this case. Uh, it's a large watch. It's 50.5 millimeters. But check out how that curves like that. So, And not only that, but look at the lugs and how they're actually inset. The lugs 
are narrower than the case. So even though it's a big watch, it wears really well. And I, you know, I don't have a huge wrist. I've got kind of just a medium-sized wrist, and I was worried it would look crazy big on my wrist. And it does look big, honestly. That's just how it is. It's just no matter who wears this, it's going to look big because it's a big old diver's watch. But um, the way that they they design this case is really brilliant. And of course, drilled lugs, which I love. Um, I've actually got a NATO strap. I want to try this on too. I will say though, this silicone strap is absolutely amazing. I really usually don't like these uh, kind of rubber and silicone type straps, but it's super comfortable and it's a little bit stretchy. Like you can see it kind of stretching there. So even if you have it pretty tight, um, it gives a little bit and it's just really soft, really, really soft and comfortable. And it's not a hair puller or anything like that. Got the nice, uh, nice uh, signed buckle. And then the keeper too is signed. And look at it, it's brushed on the top. And then it's kind of, uh, kind of shiny and reflective on the on the bevel there. But really, really nicely done. And uh, let's just get a little of that dial again. It's just a really, really beautifully done watch. And I think originally these were in the maybe, you know, five to six hundred dollar range, which I feel is a fair price for it. The fact that I got this for two hundred dollars and it's basically brand new, there's not a scratch on the crystal, there's not a scratch on the bezel. I I honestly think somebody bought it and they realized it was maybe just a little bit bigger than they wanted to deal with and sold it and uh, anyway I did get a box with it this is not the correct box unfortunately uh, this is the just kind of standard Seiko box they did have the paperwork in there the warranty card and everything but uh, it's it's not the correct box but this is the correct uh, this is the uh, the correct uh, little hang tag there so Anyway, I feel very blessed that I got this for such a great deal, and I'm just I'm just totally loving it. I'm gonna put in a couple of uh, other watches that I have that are that are kind of a good alternative to this. And you know, again, this is uh, this is just a, a comparison here. It's also a little size comparison. So here's my Glycine Combat Sub, which I absolutely love. Uh, so Glycine Combat Sub, that's a 42 millimeter, so you can definitely see there's a quite a difference in the size, but also a 200 meter dive watch. I got this at Costco for 279 bucks, all Swiss made, uh, sapphire crystal. Uh, it's got a Salita SW200 uh, movement in it. Really, really great watch. Love that watch. Um, this is a this one is a dive watch that it, an actual dive watch 200 meter dive watch that can dress up. This one I don't think you could probably dress this one up. Um, this one definitely just look at the you know the thinness of it and everything you can definitely dress this one up. Another great alternative is my uh, Seiko Patty. This is the uh, Patty Turtle here. And again, you can see the difference in the size, but honestly, the face of the watch is about the same. It's just this shroud kind of adds that, you know, that addif additional, uh, you know, width to it. And, uh, but, you know, either one of those is a great Seiko. This, uh, I really love this turtle too. I get a lot of compliments on that one. And let me run and grab my Orient. Had to run and grab this out of my watch drawer and then this is my Orient M Force more correctly called the M Force Bravo uh, so this is a great option too Orient has a new one I believe it's called the Trident I believe uh, that replaced this model but Orient's a great option as well so these are all watches you know these are about in the three to four hundred dollar range Depending on where you get this, these are usually about 400 bucks, but um, uh, Costco just had a crazy deal on this one. And then these, 
This one ran me, I think, $360, and the, the new version is about the same, up to maybe $400. So these are some competitive options here. You know, any three of these, I think, are equal to this one. But this one has just such a unique look to it. I'm going to get these out of the way now. It has such a unique look to it. I would say that, you know, if you find one out there, especially on the used market, and if it's as lightly used as this one, I would say go for it. Uh, the accuracy was really bad when I got it, but I don't know if it had uh, ever been regulated. I don't know if it was ever used. It didn't look like it had ever even been worn. Uh, I was running about a minute slow per day. I am in the process of regulating it. I have an app on my phone that uh, that tests the uh, tests the accuracy. So I'm working on that, and hopefully I'll be able to get that very accurate. I know my turtle is within just a few seconds a day, so I'm sure it's the same movement, so I'm sure I'll be able to, to do the same thing with this one. But anyway, just a quick review. I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, watching and uh, supporting the channel. And again, this is the SRP 655 50th anniversary. They also had one more version. I was going to mention that earlier. They have one more version called the SRP 653, I believe that is the blue version. It has the kind of light blue ceramic uh, shroud and then a blue dial on that. And that's a really nice looking watch too. So that's that's another option in this one. Um, but yeah, this just has that beautiful black dial on it. And typically Seiko's black dials are kind of gray, but this one is really jet black. Really jet, jet black. Excellent. I'm going to do a quick loom shot. Let me go ahead and charge this. And I mean, you know, you know what's going to happen here is that it's just going to have crazy loom. Let me shut the shade here, charge it, and I mean, it's glowing like a torch. Seiko's Luma Bright is some of the best out there. I mean, it's right up there with the Swiss Boys, and uh, this will last all night. You know, you can wake up at 6 a.m. the next morning, and it's still you're still able to tell the time. So, excellent loom on it. And uh, but you already know that. That's just how Seiko does it. They do a great job with it. And anyway, thanks so much. I appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on the next one.